Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how the damage system in Survival Game Kit works. I'm going to be showing you how to add damage to a new blueprint, so you'll be able, able to um, attack and damage um, any blueprint you want. Um, I'll also be showing you how to do damage to the um, included Survival Game Kit um, actors, like the character or the build parts, um, with your own blueprints as well. Um, I won't be showing you how to set damage values for like the weapons and things like that in this video. There's actually documentation, uh, written documentation on that um, that you can find in the, the documentation webpage. So you can check that out um, for that information. But um, to get started, I'm just going to create a new blueprint. You don't have to do this if you have your own blueprint um, that you want to use instead. You can just use that. Um, so I'm just going to create this and open it up. And I'm going to be using a stack uh, mesh for this video. You can use a skeletal mesh. Um, if you are using a skeletal mesh, make sure that it has a physics asset. Um, if it doesn't, this won't work. Um, if you don't know what a physics asset is, you can Google it. There's there's tons of information on it. It's um, pretty basic and easy to set up. Um, but for this video, I'm going to be using a stack mesh. So I'm just going to be using the cube. Um, one thing to remember with stack meshes is it must have collision. Now to check this, you can double click the mesh over here and in your mesh editor, go to collision, show simple collision, and you can see mine has this green outline. That's our collision. If you don't have that after you uh, tick simple collision, there's some collision options up here that you can try out. Um, there's also, again, Epic has documentation on how, how this works. Um, you can check this out, but you must have collision on your mesh uh, like I do here. Um, and once that's done, um, you also wanna make sure that in your, um, with your mesh selected, um, you must have a weapon set to block and you must have projectile set to block. Um, if they're not, it, it won't. the damage system won't work. Um, if you want to be able to change it, you can select the uh, option here and hit custom, and then you can select any one of these uh, tick boxes. Um, so once you've got all of that done, we're ready to add the damage system to our new blueprint here. So to add the damage events to our blueprint, we're gonna to go to class settings, then to implement and interfaces and search for SGK uh, damage. And we're gonna add this uh, interface here. Uh, we'll compile quickly. Then in our event graph, we can go and we can search for SGK event uh, damage. And you can see we've got event SGK damage. Now, um, this event will be called whenever our new blueprint is hit by a weapon from survival game kit um, and it will provide its damage it'll provide um, the a reference to whoever did the damage this will be the uh, character um, it will provide the damage type so weapons can have different damage types um, those can be set in the weapons holdable um, but it will provide us with that damage type and it will provide us if if um we're using a skeletal mesh, it'll provide us with a hitbox. Um, if not, this will just be none and you can ignore it. Um, but if you you know, want to expand the damage system, this will provide the hitbox that um, was hit on your skeletal mesh, not static mesh. Um, but for this video, I'm just gonna set up a very basic health system um, to show you that the damage is working and how it works. Um, if you're looking to set up a health system, I'd recommend looking up a specific video on that. I'm going to be doing this very quickly um, in a very basic way. Um, so I'm just going to drag out from base damage. I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it health. And from here, I'm just going to disconnect these for now. We'll drag out from the health variable, do get. I'm just going to do minus invert minus in. And we'll do um, is greater than zero if and uh, so all we're doing here is basically if the health minus our damage is less than zero, um, then we just want to set our health to zero and I'll print string um, dead. So we can just see on the screen that it will uh, print out dead. And then we'll copy these, paste these up here. And um, if it's greater than zero, we can set our new health value uh, by plugging it in here. And I'm just gonna, uh, actually I'll connect this up to the print screen. So we can see our um, health going down. Now, something to remember is uh, compile, but you need to make sure you actually set your health because by default it's gonna be zero. So your um, actor will just be dead all of the time. So remember to set this. I'm just gonna set mine to 100. Um, 
But just like that, we've added a, a, a damage system. If I wanted to as well, I could maybe drag out here from, and do like a destroy actor node um, like that. Um, then we can compile this and test it in game. So we can jump in game now and hit play. Oh, I forgot to put my actor in the level, so I'll just drag that in and I'll hit play. And I'm just gonna quickly grab a weapon. We can attack our cube in a sec. So now when I start attacking the cube, you can see our health values there on the left hand side. Um, and now when I uh, destroy it, you can see it printed out dead and the actor has been destroyed. And just like that, we've added damage to a new uh, blueprint actor. So um, that's pretty much how that's done. Um, again, you can um, use the damage type and hitbox types to you know, create a more um, advanced health system, for example, if you have armor or um, things like that, you can, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so next I'm gonna be showing you how to damage um, survival game kit um, blueprints from a new blueprint. So to do this, I'm gonna be using a trace in this video, but you can do the same thing with um, overlaps as well. I know a lot of people use trigger overlaps. Um, if you are looking to do that, the damage zone is a really good example of this. Whenever a player or any survival game kit um, blueprint enters this trigger, it will start taking damage. So um, if you're looking for that sort of thing, I, I'd recommend either using a damage zone or looking at its code. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna use a trace. And the reason for that is um, when we use a trace, um, we can get the hit bone name. And the hit bone name is how we get the hit box, um, which is used for things like armor and um, clothing uh, durability. Um, so to do this, I'm gonna change my cube now. Um, I'm actually gonna delete the cube um, and we're gonna create a new um, trace. Um, I'm gonna just, uh, I'll use a timer. So um, again, this is just for example, um, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm just doing it so I can show you how everything works. Um, but from begin play, I'm gonna create a timer of them. And this just uh, basically um, will run this event however often we set the time to. I'm just gonna set mine to 0.5 tick looping. And from here, I'm gonna do a, a line trace by channel. I'm gonna do get actor location, get uh, actor rotation, um, get forward vector, and I'm gonna multiply this by like, um, by float by about 500. And basically all this is gonna do is draw a straight um, draw a straight line um, forward from our cube and then if our player is hit by the line then we'll deal damage to it. I'm going to enable draw debug just so we can uh, see it. Um, set it to draw um, for half a second there. Um, so now the important part is our hit. So this is our hit result. So this will tell us what uh, our trace hit. Um, now the hit actor is how we actually tell the system to damage the actor. And all we do is we drag out from our hit actor or this would be your overlap actor if you're doing overlapping or um, anything else. And we're just gonna search for SGK damage. And we wanna use the SGK damage message um, event here. And you can see we've actually got all the pins that we had on our um, damage node up here. But this time we're actually inputting them because we're gonna be damaging another actor. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the hit bone name. Now, um, this is for if our line trace hits a character, for example, um, it will get the bone name that we hit. And from that, we can get the hit box. Now to do that, we drag out from um, hit bone name and we'll search for is hit box. And we can use SGK is hit box and connect this up. And what that will do is convert the bone name to a hit box that we can then plug into our hit box um, pin here and then we can connect this up to our, our damage event. Now our base damage, this is how much damage you're telling to um, be done to the, the hit blueprint. Um, I'm just gonna use five. Um, something to keep in mind is if your character, if you're damaging a character um, that has say armor on, um, armor will reduce the damage amount. So if your damage amount isn't the same as what you're putting in here, um, it could be that the armor is actually reducing the damage. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but 
uh, we can also set the damage type. Now, damage type basically just tells you know over here when our actors hit what damage type is hit. Um, and in survival game kit, this is used for again armor. Um, it's also used for durability. So depending on um, the damage type, equipment can have more or less armor. Um, I'm just going to leave this as light. You can play around with this as much as you like. Um, so like that, we've pretty much set everything up we need to. Um, you don't need to plug in the damage causal or event instigator unless you're using Smart AI with Survival Game Kit. If you are, um, just drag out from damage causer and search for self. And that will basically just tell the AI system that what uh, blueprint hurt them. Um, that's important because it's for its AI systems. But um, if you're just using Survival Game Kit, you don't need to worry about uh, plugging in these two pins here. Um, so now we've set this all up, we can um, compile. And I'm going to um, just simulate so we can see what direction our line gets run in. So we can see it's running there. Now, if I uh, hit play and I run into that line, our character will st start taking damage. Um, you can see that my health begins going down. Um, and then if I move out of the way, it stops. Um, if I was wearing, you know, armor, um, uh, an armor with like a higher armor value, the damage taken would be less. But um, this will actually also affect uh, build parts as well. So if you are trying to build like an explosion or something like that, um, this works in exactly the same way. Um, you would just use a different, you, you wouldn't use a line trace for an explosion, but you would call the damage exactly the same way like we are here. Um, so that's pretty much it for how to damage blueprints and cause damage to blueprints um, in Survival Game Kit. It's fairly simple. Um, hopefully this helps out anyone that's trying to work with it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and uh, thank you for watching.